discover bible kids corner today we are going we are going to learn about the topic fighting for peace let us pray god we thank you for being with us as we are going to learn about the topic fighting for peace i know you'll guide us so that we may understand it well in jesus name i pray and believe amen fighting for peace our text our text come from comes from the book of exodus chapter 14 verse 14 it says the Lord shall fight for you, and, he sh and you shall fight, and he shall hold your peace. What is peace? Many of us don't have peace in our lives. Peace is a type of comfort that you have in your, in your heart. That you, peace, if you live with others in harm, peace and harmony, you live with others kindly, if you, your heart does not have any burdens, that, is, that means you live peacefully. What does it mean when we fight for peace? Many of us fight if, because of violence, fight because of, of anger, but, there is a t but f we can fight, we can also fight for peace. Peace is something that most of us don't have. People who have peace ha have prospered. People who have peace are very successful in their lives. Do you want to have peace in your life? That's the question you should, uh, you should ask yourself. If you fight for peace, you should be determined. You should be very determined to fight for your peace and the peace of others. If you be very violent, how do you think you will find peace in your heart? Other people don't have peace. That way, that's why they kill themselves. They commit suicide. They... they kill others, they have stress, they have blood pressures. That's why, that's why we should always strive to fight for peace. If fighting for peace is very hard, very hard for someone who does not, does not understand God's word. But if you are very determined to understand the word of God, your peace will come automatically or you, you, your fight, your your fight will not be that hard to, to go on with. If we go to the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 10, it says, Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Let them, le least they multiply, and it come to pass. When there falleth out any war, any war, they join us also unto our enemies, and fight against us, and so get them up of the land. Do you think violence is the answer to everything in your life? Do you think violence is the answer to anything or everything? Violence is not the answer. As you say, fight, fighting for peace is not fighting physically. It's fighting spiritually. You can, you can fight for peace through reading God's word every now and then, praying, having devotions with your family, giving helping others to understand the word of god reading the bible that's when you'll fight for your peace and god will will also see that you are working for it not that you just sit and wait for your peace to come or kill people to wait for your peace to come no that's why the, we have courts here if you if someone has wronged you don't kill that person or don't revenge that person take that person to court so is the word of god if someone wrongs you, go to go in your on your knees and pray for that person, so that that person, so that your heart may have peace. Don't keep the that don't keep heartless things in your heart, because they will only give, they will only destroy your peace. Yes. So, dear viewer, do you have peace in your heart, and do you strive to have to fight for your peace spiritually? Are you violent? Do you do you do you do you kill people to have your peace? Ask yourself that question. Yes, let's pray. Mighty Father, I know that most of us don't have peace in our hearts, but I know you'll continue. You'll give us our peace, so that we may you can help us with strength, so that we may fight for our peace spiritually. And I know you'll also help those people who who don't have their peace, so that they may strive for it. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen.